should you include protein powders in your diet? So why would you want to take a protein powder? You might want to improve recovery. You might want to build some muscle. You can absolutely get enough protein from your diet. And I always recommend getting protein from your diet first but it does get to a point where getting that much protein from food is not easy you need to cook it can be expensive too so in that case taking protein powders as a supplement can be a great way to supplement the protein in your diet to get more protein into your diet help you reach the protein goals that will help you reach your physique goals what are the main reasons for wanting to take a protein supplement and how do you know which is the right protein powder for you? Well, in terms of reasons, the main reason for wanting to use protein powder or a protein supplement is muscle growth. We know that after you've had a heavy training session in the gym, taking some protein powder can help to stimulate muscle growth and help to lead to muscle growth in the long term. Uh, the second reason is very much related to the first and it's sports recovery. So if you're training hard, getting more protein into you after your training sessions will help your muscles recover and prepare you for your next training session. And then the third reason is for dieting. So a lot of people don't know this, but protein actually helps to reduce appetite. So that can be one reason that will stop you from eating too much, but protein also helps you hold on to more muscle as you're dieting. So you're not going to be losing muscle instead of fat, which is really, really important. In terms of the right protein for you, it's all down to experimentation. Play around with the ones that you like and that agree with you most. Can you use protein shakes to replace an entire meal? The answer is absolutely not. The reason for that is a protein shake, obviously enough, only contains protein, whereas a whole meal will contain carbohydrates, fats, protein, fiber, vitamins, minerals, polyphenols, and a whole host of other nutrients that we get from whole foods, which you cannot get from a simple shake. That's why we often have whole meal replacement shakes, which can contain much more than protein alone. Now, that said, you can use a protein powder or a protein shake to supplement the protein in a meal if you need to get some extra protein. But don't think that you can replace all of your meals with protein shakes. In the long term, it is not healthy. Here are some of the most important tips when it comes to taking protein. If your goal is to build muscle, aim for at least 1.6 to 2.4 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day, okay? Get enough protein. Second one, okay? Don't have all of your protein in one meal. Protein works best if you distribute it evenly throughout the day. And if you can aim for between four and six meals with enough protein, so say for example, 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal, that is your best chance of evenly stimulating muscle growth throughout the day. Next, make sure you get protein at night before you go to bed. Remember, when you go to bed, you're gonna be fasting for at least eight hours. You're missing out on an opportunity to stimulate muscle growth. And the last one, but not least, remember to get enough protein at breakfast, which is usually the lowest protein meal of the day. When should you be having a protein shake? I'm gonna explain this, okay? If you go to the gym and have a heavy training gym session, okay, you're going to stimulate muscle growth. And you're gonna be stimulating muscle growth for up to 24 or maybe even up to 48 hours after that gym session. Here's the thing, if you eat protein within that period, you'll stimulate muscle growth even more. So that means you've got this really, really, really long period of time where you can take advantage of that anabolic window uh, to stimulate muscle growth. It's not just immediately after your training session. So if you really, really want to get the most out of your training session, have protein regularly. So have some protein after your training session, have it a few hours later, have some protein before you go to bed. Get plenty of protein to stimulate muscle growth regularly. Is there an alternative to protein shakes if you don't want to take them? Absolutely. It's called real food. Okay. If you don't like protein shakes, if they don't agree with you, you can absolutely get enough protein from your diet. It's just not as easy and it can probably work out a little bit more expensive because you're going to do it, need to do a little bit more shopping, a little bit more cooking to get that much protein into your diet. The reason we take protein shakes in the first place is because they're super convenient to take. Now, that said, if you don't like protein shakes themselves, you can also use protein powder as an ingredient. So for example, you can make protein oats by making some porridge and just adding some protein powder in. You've immediately increased the amount of protein you're getting. You can also add protein powder into things like uh, cottage cheese or Greek yogurt to make them taste a lot nicer and also increase the amount of protein in your diet. But don't think you need those protein powders, but they are super convenient.